Hello, my friends, I'm Nikki Holt, and I'm so excited to tell you how to slay your three-day refresh. So first, I need you to know your shiz. You are going to get your box, review, look at it. It is so easy to follow step-by-step, step, but I want you to flip through, read, review, repeat, at least once, and then you're gonna prep and go shopping and grab all the things that you want. What's so nice is they just say like a fruit, they'll give you a list that you get to choose from, you get to choose a fruit that you will eat, and you can choose to make it the same fruit every three days for that snack, or you can mix it up. So, it's it can be cost effective and easy to follow. Um, two, commit to three. You guys, it's three days. Not three years, not three months, not three weeks, three days. So know mentally, I'm not gonna skimp on this at all. I'm going hard for three days. You can do it, I promise. Um, I've done it multiple times and every time I'm like, this is easy, why don't I do this? What I found so as well is it works so well with planning that like, I think that's why I'm like, oh, why don't I do this all the time? Well, because this is so easy to follow and my life is life. Um, four, or number three, sorry that had three in it, but it was number two. Number three, grab a buddy. It's always easier to follow along with something when you have somebody in it with you, especially if you added or asked them to join you, you're not going to like, skip out on it because you already committed to somebody else. So that helps your commitment level increase. Four, no excuses mentality. It's not the time to give yourself an out. So you have three days, that's why I said commit to three, but you have to have that no excuses mentality. There's not the, oh, I didn't get enough sleep. Oh, I have a headache. Oh, like, Drink your water, plan your stuff, eat it. If you need to plug your nose to drink something, go ahead and do it. So everybody has different, um, like how things taste. Like I think one thing tastes like lemonade and isn't that bad and, the, and like my cousin can't stand it. So everybody has different <laughs> taste buds um, and figure it out. So no excuses mentality. You gotta just get yourself to do it. Um, five know yourself and prep. So do not just think you're gonna be able to throw this together last minute. I'm sure you could, but I want you to slay this shiz, not just sort of get by, right? So know yourself if you're a procrastinator or if you don't like prepping, like just freaking do it, chop the celery so it's easy to grab, so when it's snack time and have the avocado there so it's easy to slice, so you can have that as your snack. Um, and if you know weekends are easier to follow a schedule like this because the weekday, your work or whatever, like then do it on a weekend. Me, I know a weekday, I can plan that much better than on a weekend when I have my kids and they're gonna wanna eat or this is happening or we go out to a park and then our days are all off. So know your family, know your life and choose what's gonna work best for you um, and and then prep accordingly. And I kind of already talked about it, but you're reviewing, you're gonna see what it says and then you're gonna be able to grab that at the store. Number six, set a timer and be prepared for your on the go life. So one, set the timer for the days, for when your snacks are supposed to happen, when your breakfast is supposed to happen. It, it does this like, Things need to be within certain hours of each other. And so, or 30 minutes, you know. So just so you can plan prep accordingly. Um, and then you don't have to really think about it if you have timers set throughout the day, like alarms set throughout the day. Um, so that can be helpful. And then for on the go, if you know you're running errands and you're supposed to have a snack at a certain time or a shake um, at a certain time, like you need it on the go. So fill your bottle up with ice, you know, so then it stays cold um, or pack it in a thermos. However, this is what I'm saying, be prepared. And you're 
like even though you think you're prepared, then you're gonna have on the go like a random trip or something like this, or your cousin's in town and you're gonna go see them at lunch, but you need your lunch, so plan accordingly. Okay, seven, now keep it up. I have been so proud, um, speaking of my cousin that I was talking about, the three-day refresh has kickstart their weight loss. Her husband's down 20 pounds plus, I think at this point. Um, and she's down 10 and they have just rolled it into better eating habits. They've taken on different challenges and, um, that's just them. I think it's a great reset. So anytime you kind of find yourself like, oh my gosh, I am just grabbing all the shiz or I just, I know I can eat better than this, but I just like need to get back on track. This is a perfect opportunity for that. Or if you're ready to jumpstart your fitness and nutrition, great time. Um, if you're here, you're ready. You are ready to make a change. You are ready to do something to jumpstart your life, to jumpstart your eating habits. And this is the best thing to do that. And then it has a maintenance guide that helps you. I, as your coach, am here to help you. Where are your struggles, your challenges, and how do we get you to move forward to be successful? So I know you can do it. Go slay it. Slay the day, my friends. Slay the three-day refresh.